Hello, everybody. Let me lower down the music. So, crazy story. I updated my Minecraft, but it was like crashing a ton. Um, so I had to take out a ton of mods that I usually like wouldn't take out. Sorry, you can see right here. I, w I had to take out a lot of mods that I usually wouldn't take out, but I can't figure out what's causing the crash right now. So I don't think we're going to be having shaders right now. Oh my god. Music, go away. No. Let me also turn down my master volume. Oh my god, that's so loud. Um, video settings. Yeah, we won't have any shaders. Not too bummed about that though, because building is like... It's a little bit easier for me without shaders. I know I build a lot of times on stream with shaders, but... Yeah. There we go. Now you guys can see. Why are you all the way up here? There we go. Now you guys can see. Um. Oh. Need to get the server IP. Alright, I'm gonna do... Be right back really quick. Because I need to put the server IP in. And I don't want anybody... Don't want anybody seeing, you know? Not that you guys can even get in anyways, because it's whitelisted, but still. You never know. Let me see. But today we're going to be building, or rebuilding, I guess, redesigning the show barn. I, I really did love the old design, but I feel like it could be upgraded in a lot of ways. I've learned a lot in building since then. So we're going to be trying and making the show barn once again today i have all of the old stuff so all i need to do is just take the bar and move it that kind of thing um oh wow okay it's now saying that i don't have any mods what the heck Ugh. minecraft why do you have to do this to me today out of like all days All right, it's installing. I'm sorry, guys. I did not plan for it to go this bad already. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm keeping the old design. I'm keeping a lot of the old stuff because I don't want to delete it. It's well made, but I am going to be, um, like, redesigning a lot of the, the things on the build. So, for example, like, the trees. I'm going to be redoing the trees. I'm probably going to be redoing a lot of the, like, pathways, but I'm not actually going to be redoing many of the builds. Um... I don't really, I love the pathways on the front, but I don't really like them around the back. So we're going to be redoing those. Um, like I said in my other video about the ranch, I just want kind of like a new feel for everything. And I feel like I'm not going to be able to do that unless I just start redoing everything. Why did it crash? Hello? View crash report. Why? Why are you crashing? I literally downloaded it straight from CurseForge. What is going on? All right, this may need to go to Riley. I think Riley's busy though. <sighs> Sorry guys, hold on. My Minecraft is crashing. Make the trees pink. Oh my God, don't tempt me. Okay, so for some reason my Minecraft is crashing even though I downloaded it straight from CurseForge, which is a problem. All right, um, maybe it's a me problem. Cause I think carrots is online. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to get Carrots' stuff. I like how there's 41 people watching it, just to be right back screen. I'm sorry. This happens a lot and it's a problem, but it's part of the process, you know? Okay, he's getting it for me. Let me go ahead and get my Minecraft situated. 
Oh, fave. I can't wait till you guys can play alongside us. I'm so excited. I have the trailer getting started. I have, I have to edit my Minecraft video today. And then I have my SSO series. I have so much to do, but it's like, it's nice to have so much to do because then you can't just pause and be like, wait, what do I do now for like the next week? Like there's always something to do, you know? Tell me something to draw. Um, I think you should draw, you should draw a duck, a rubber duck holding a pineapple. You're welcome. But like really muscly arms. You know? We'll see like it's not that it's not that it doesn't actually start minecraft it just crashes so i have enough ram and everything but it's it's not not doing great They're uploading now. Anyways, how are you guys today? What have you guys been up to today? What have we been up to? What's his name, Peachy? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Who's a... Who's like a, a power lifter or something? Isn't, isn't Dwayne Johnson like a, a bodybuilder? Duck Johnson, you know? Big muscly. Hi, Clemens. Thank you for saying hi from the UK. Yeah, right now I'm dealing with crashing. It should be fixed momentarily. I just need to figure out why it's crashing. Okay, so let me get that from the file. I swear to God I put that from the downloads because Riley put that there. Hold on. Raw. Where is it at? This and then mods. Yeah, what? Okay, let's try this. There we go. It already has them. I'm so confused. Like it's saying, do you want to replace these two? All right, let's try one more time just for funsies. All right. Okay, I see. I see what's going on. All right, I, I'm so smart, guys. All right, that should work. Please, <laughs> please tell me it's gonna work. It's it's loading. It's doing something. Oh my God, maybe. Anyway. 
anyway, hi Ella, welcome. Yeah, no, you guys aren't, if you guys just joined, you're not late at all. I know it was 15 minutes ago, but I've been trying to fix my Minecraft. So I'll make sure to put a little like, you know, tag or whatever at, in the comments of where you can start the stream. Dwayne the Duck Johnson? I mean, that's a good name. If you draw it and send it to me, I'll put it on my wall. I'm glitching again? What do you mean I'm glitching again? It's glitching. Hello. Join there. Oh my gosh. I'm done with this. I'm, oh. Oh my God, about to mess this up. Let me download whatever Riley gave me. I, this is why I hate modding Minecraft. I may seem dumb, I may be dumb, I don't know, but why is it so difficult just to like, Ooh, you know? Let me get the folders that Riley sent me. All right, let's see this. Anyways, let's try that one more time because for some reason I was missing mods, even though I downloaded it directly from CurseForge, which is a little bit frustrating. Yeah, I've, I've had a tutorial out for the longest time. Hi, Kylie. Hold on. Oh my god, you guys will not believe who I just got a call from. Walmart, let's go. It was our automated system. <laughs> I have to like approve prescriptions or they won't actually start filling them. So I have to listen to it, the automated machine, and it's like, please press one. And then you have to press one and it's like, you have blank prescription ready. Do you approve of this? And it's like, yeah, I kind of need that. <laughs> Anyways, it should be working now. That was, just to clarify, that was my bad. Um, I'm not sure if I did something wrong with the CurseForge file because I didn't add anything to it or remove anything to it, um, except for, you know, the item texture thing. But we're good now. We good. If you guys have any questions at all about Star Worm Equestrian Mod, I'm not... I'm not in their Discord anymore. I'm not... I don't have any connection with them other than having their mod in my mod pack. I beg you, <laughs> beg you to please go and look up all of your questions in the Swem Discord because my mods will not be answering any Swem-related questions unless it's something that, you know, is has something to do with my mod pack. I hate to say it like that, but I'm, I'm trying to save my mods a ton of time. And I know my mods don't like answering things over and over again when they've repeated it, that you guys need to go to the Swim Discord. 
But anyways, oh. Oh, I can show you guys really quickly. Because this is going to be part of my series. So, like, you guys are going to see it anyways. Look. Isn't it pretty? Oh, I don't have... Oh, wait. No, I do have... Do I have shaders? Oh, I don't have shader packs. Let's fix this. I'll grab them from my multi MC. There we go. Easy peasy. Anyways, this is for my um my series. Okay, so I couldn't schematic the entire thing. Um, this was actually made from a, a Patreon, uh, a builder's Patreon that I use. I couldn't exactly like schematic the whole thing. So I had to do parts, bits and pieces. And I, then I just have to like remove stuff. So this right here is probably gonna be removed or I'm just gonna schematic the rest of it. I don't know. Um, I'll figure that out later. I had to redesign this whole area because it was really messed up. And then I had to make this area over here. It has a lot of like schematic work to be done, um, but I will fix that later. Like right here, yeah, that all needs to be fixed. So yeah. Um, and then it's gonna be leading over here to my barn, which I'll be showing in my newest video. So let's go to the um, hidden land schematics. Let's go check out the show barn. Um, you can send them via Discord or Instagram if you have those. If not, I mean, I don't, I don't really know how you're supposed to send it. <laughs> yeah, my PO box is in the description if you want to, um, if you want to send it, like, in a physical form. Up to you. I have some people working on some art, like, some fan art. I already have some fan art on my wall. I mean, I have, like, the the um, burnt wood plaque on my wall from Raven Windhoof. And then I have another drawing that I got. So I'm gonna have like a little wall. And I, I designed it into my room decoration. So it's not just like, you know, by itself on the wall. It has like flowers around it and stuff too. So this is the show bar and you guys remember it if you guys watched my live stream series or even if you just watch my videos, this is my show barn. I loved the show barn deco, but there's just a lot of things that like I want to improve on the show barn. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find a place within my, um, oh my God, it's me. I'm going to find a place within my um, new hidden lands uh, dimension. And then we're just going to move the show barn there. I don't think it's going to be the same place as my ranch because I want it to be like a completely different area. So yeah the grass be brighter than in future yeah the grass is really bright let me know if it's too annoying for you guys i think i have saturation up on this expand or this um shader pack i almost said expansion pack i'm not ignoring you i'm just trying to i'm trying to make sure i get everyone before i answer promise you forgot to change your skin back it's okay it suits you <laughs> spider-man meme <laughs> Why are you so low hearts? What? It, why are you like half hearts? What's going on? What's going on there? Here, I'll, I can join staff call if you want to join. Up to you guys. Alright, let's see. Oh wait, my PO box in the description. Is it the right one? Let me change it to the right one. Well, I mean, it's just a, a PO, a box change. Even if you send it to that address, it's not like it won't get to me because it's the same post office that I usually have, but I just switched the PO box size. Anybody can join. He's done that quick. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's go and warp to Peachy's Ranch. And then um, 
game mode spectator and we're going to fly far away and see if we can find a cool place for the show barn. Okay, I was just making sure my ping wasn't dying. Oh my god, I forgot about these. Oh, I don't even know if I can travel across the, the dimension with how bad the, the world is messed up in some parts. I'll see if I can. Yeah, there's there's a there's a few mess ups you'll see. Um, I don't know if I'll have a barn manager, but maybe I'll look into it for sure. Where's high carrots? Where's Riley? Riley. What are these mountains? What in tarnation? Like what? Did the cave world, like, mix in? I'm so confused. Because it's- I think it's gonna, like, kill the server if I keep unloading them. Oh my gosh. They are tall. I'm not ignoring you guys, but some of you guys are spamming. <laughs> I'm gonna need you to calm it down. Thank you to those who aren't spamming and being respectful, because it's it can be a lot sometimes. I don't know, but I literally cannot find a place for the show barn, because everywhere I turn, there's like mountains. All right, maybe this way I'll be good. Oh my gosh, I jinxed it. I'm literally boxed in by mountains. All right, we may have to, uh, we may have to do it in another place, not gonna lie. Um, okay. Thank you, Riley. Wait, Riley, are you showing? Oh, TP away. Okay. You mean crash you. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it only crashed me the other day when it was like loading too many blocks. It didn't crash me, it crashed the server. Okay, so what I'm gonna do while I wait is I'm going to go to the hidden land schematics and we're going to world edit whatever we want. We're gonna world edit it out of here. Or we're gonna get it like you know copied and pasted so i kind of like the the vision of this right here i like the full barn the full mare full barn whatever i like the individual pastures i'll probably make the pastures a lot bigger and oh oh i forgot riley's changing it um and then i'll probably make it so that the pastures like in the front are way bigger and stretch further because i want i don't want as many individual pastures you know so, Riley really quickly is changing stuff, just so you guys know. The grass stripes is the um, concrete powder, the green concrete powder, and then I just line it up with the actual grass of Minecraft. Now I can read chat. Ha <laughs> ha. Hogwarts Legacy? Oh, I want to play Hogwarts Legacy so bad, but I want to stream it. I think I may just play through the game without streaming it though, honestly. I really like streaming it, I just don't have enough time to stream it. Like I, the only time I really have time to play games at night is at like 2 a.m. Carrots, yeah. 
My latency, even though I edit it on Streamlabs, it's still so bad. Like, it's a 20 second delay at least. Jeez. Bye, Sarah. Ooh, I've seen a lot of people recreate their IRL stables on Swim. I wish I had an IRL stables I could recreate, honestly. That would be such a cool project to do like an IRL barn tour and then a Swim barn tour. Or just like a Minecraft barn tour. Because you, you, can, you can make Minecraft barns and not have them be Swim. <laughs> Which is funny because I, I love when people say, can you play swim? Can you play swim? And it's like, <laughs> if I just played swim, it would be kind of boring. I like all the other mods involved too. But I know what you guys mean. Like, I'm not teasing you for it. I know what you guys mean when you say, can you play swim? But it's just kind of funny. Let's see? Oh, your main barn? Yeah. It's kind of funny because throughout the summer, Throughout the summer, a lot of people who used to be working on their swim stuff like stopped because they were going on vacation or they were just like enjoying summer. And now that, now that um, like school is completely back and people are going back to school. I know I hate to bring it up. I'm a horrible person for that. But now that school is like back and everything, um, I feel like people are becoming more active on their Minecraft worlds because they play after school and everything and they're not like away from home. So, yeah. I don't know. Is that just me? Do like, is it just me who realizes that a ton of people like become more active when they're like going back to school? All of the videos are not dated though. You just, you go to, you go to CurseForge and you download the mods and the required mods and then you play the game. I mean, <laughs> I know it's sound, I'm making it sound really easy when it may not be easy for somebody, but it's my, at least my video is not outdated. You can still use my video for the updated swim and the updated mods in general. I am going to be, I am editing a video right now on how to download my mod pack though. So if you want to wait for that, that may help. I wouldn't even check if the server's up. Maybe I should do that. Has it kicked me out just okay? I was about to say, <laughs> hasn't kicked me out just yet. No, there it goes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take a hot second, I'm thinking. You hate school? I also hated school when I was younger. I still hate the idea of school, like just thinking of going back to school makes me cringe a little bit like a mental cringe because I hated school I had really bad um ADD slash ADHD and I couldn't do anything in school and going home and trying to explain it to my parents was like torture thankfully like I was homeschooled for a good bit of my school life but it was just so bad even now like I can't imagine working in like a super populated office space I can imagine actually like, you know, working in an office like nine to five or something like that. Cause you know, I've done that before or, you know, working in a vet office and stuff. I can imagine all of that cause I've done it before, but I can't imagine working in a space where like I have to be silent or I can't like listen to something in the background or anything like that. Like working from home, I, I'm so blessed to even have like the opportunity to work from home. I will always be grateful for the opportunity to work from home because it is so bad with having to like concentrate in a quiet classroom, listening to somebody and having an attention span for like an hour 
throughout the entire day. Because like when you go to when you go to class, you sit there for like an hour, change periods, go to another class. It's like torture. Oh, so bad. All right. Yeah, I wanted to be a vet for a long time too. Like it was a, it was a big dream of mine to go to at least be a vet tech. You know, get my license and everything, and then work on towards vet school. But I worked at a vet for seven or eight months, and that just changed my mind completely on the life of being a vet and that kind of thing. It may have been the workplace I was at. It may have not been. I don't know. But I just was like, you know what? I can't do this. I love knowing things like I love being able to be like oh my gosh I think I know what this animal has obviously I can't legally tell them what the animal has because I'm not a vet but like you know it's cool just to be able to know things about animals but it's like I don't know every single day and I'm not even exaggerating when I say this every single day I was like fighting for my life to even like learn things at my job and it was it was very annoying i have like a whole stream where i talked about it for like an hour so i'm not going to get into it but it was like i don't know there was a lot of workplace drama and when there's workplace drama around something that you love like animals and caring for animals it just makes the whole experience way worse and it just like ruins the point of wanting to be a vet so yeah but i do encourage anybody who wants to be a vet or wants to be a vet tech or anything in the animal medical field, you know, equine vets, um, exotic animal vet, avian vet, anything like that, I encourage you to go to a local vet where, you know, they have that, whether it's like exotic or just like normal or equine. I would encourage you to go and try and get a job shadowing or a job there because it kind of opens your eyes to what vets have to deal with. So I'm going to look over here for the mountains because I had no idea that a lot of vets one were like that. Okay. I don't are we are they supposed to be gone now or are they just supposed to not generate anymore? Cause I doubt that they can just like disappear with the data pack, right? These look to still be generating, not gonna lie. Okay. I do not know. Not supposed to generate anymore. Okay. Let's fly over here. I don't ride IRL right now. I don't know if I'll ever start riding again, like other than just for fun. Part of me wants to like go find a barn somewhere close and just like get lessons, but. Okay, let's see, let's check over here. Let me teleport over here and see if they continue to generate. This may crash me. Okay. Yeah, it looks like they're generating. Yeah, I'm just going to let Riley do her thing. We may have to place the show barn somewhere in this area. Can I introduce myself? Hi, I'm Peachy. Nice to meet you. Um, I make videos and I stream and um, I have, ooh, I have pets. I have a dog and four cats. And we have a bunch of chickens. We have like 30 some odd chickens. Um, one of them's named after me. Funny story. She looks like a little salmon chicken. But her name's Peachy. I taught my mom the Peaches song. Like the Peaches, 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 Peaches. And now she sings it every time she sees the chicken. Expect a buff duck in the mall. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to have Dwayne the Duck Johnson on my wall. 
I actually, that's going to be so funny if I can actually put them on my wall because it's, you know what? I'm just going to leave the entire wall blank other than Duck the Dwayne Johnson. No, Duck, wait, Dwayne the Duck Johnson. Oh my God. I just messed it up so bad. Ah, uh, my God. I cannot, I cannot wait. This is, this is finished right here. I just have to add some more decorations. The butterflies are looking good. Um, we have some more aquatic life. Ooh, I can show you guys that really quick. I don't know if um, spawning is enabled right now. I just, Riley, if you're listening to this, I don't want you to have to worry about it today if you don't, if you like, you don't want to, like, in all honesty, if you just, you're like, I don't want to do this today. Like, I really don't mind. Uh, let's see. No, not silverfish. Get down to here. Can I, like, put it back in the... No. Okay. Wait, do we have? Oh my gosh. Hello. Oh, you're not supposed to be in water. You're not, you know, toward, they can't get out of the water. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is this a living thing? It's not moving. Why can't I, is this like a still thing? It's moving. Get out of the water. Oh my God. Move. It's not drowning. That's a good thing. <laughs> oh my god. Bye, Lunas. My bowling skills. I'll think about it. One day when I don't want to do this anymore, I will distribute it evenly. Can you just... Okay, you're chilling in there? You're good? You're good in there? Wait, what is my carry-on mod? Where are you at? There you are. Left shift. No, you're there. Thank you. Oh my god, I was panicking. What are these? What are these pieces on it? There. Now you have a friend. You guys can just chill by the, by the water. I'll make a home for them at some point. That would be a cute little addition. Did me just casually learning about half the mobs that I just did not know about before. Foxhound? What is a foxhound? What is that? Wait. Hold on. What are- are you like- are you gonna be mean to people? Are you- are you like- are you aggressive? Are you hostile? We're gonna put you over here. Just- just in case. Nothing against you personally, just in case you don't like, you know, don't mean to kill things. Alright, you go and exist in the world. It's just- it's just gonna be random. It's a cave tortoise? Okay. I'll have to put them in like a little cave somewhere then. I need to be careful what I spawn though, because I don't want to spawn anything that'll be like... It's a hostile mob. It spawns in the nether. Should I... should I uh, grab it then? Where... where did it go? Nah, it should be okay. Will it kill- what will it kill? Will it kill anything? Cause I'm- I'll be in creative in this world, but it will kill my animals if it gets across the river? I don't know. I don't even know where it went. Oh, it's over here. I can see it on my map. Jeez, it traveled fast. Okay, we're gonna- We're gonna put it over here for now. I'll come back to it. Just so it doesn't move. Oh, you can tame it with coal? Oh my god.
Oh my god. Oh, I love the way it sits. Okay, yeah, you can come with me. All right. I love that so much. Okay, let's bring you across the river. All right. Such a pretty butterfly. Okay, I need to be careful when I'm spawning. Yum. Oh, I forgot about how bad the frogs look. Oh my god. I forgot that these look like someone drew a frog from memory. Oh my lord. Let's put you in the water. Don't look at me like that. Don't. Don't look at me. Oh my god. It's terrifying. I'm trying to look for the... Try to look for the fish. Can I not spawn the new fish with the new pack? Or the new mod, sorry. Oh, I can just put him in with a bucket. Haha. Uh -huh. Ooh, what do the catfish look like? They used to live in Florida. Ooh. They're funky looking. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to say this one. What is it, mascalunge? I probably said that wrong. That is a big old fish. Thank you, May, for the subscribe. Or Sue May. Ooh, groupers are always like. They're always like bigger fish, aren't they? Oh, I guess not. They can get big. Oh my gosh. It's a jellyfish. That's so cute. Do they just constantly stay on the move or do they like, you know, sway like they're usually doing? I don't know. Yeah, that'd be cool, Riley. Let me leave. I feel like it would be cool to have like the the mods that have like a few new mobs but not like extremely invasive. Like uh, if you were to add like most creatures or um, I think it's what Alex's mobs or whatever. Oh my gosh. I feel like our mod pack would just die. <laughs> most creatures is such a big mod that it's like, but having like individual little mods is yeah. Everyone in chat. Yeah. A lot of people are lurking. Sorry, I just cracked my knuckles. Sorry if anybody reads that. A lot of people lurking. What's my favorite horse coat? Oh, I haven't even shown you guys the new horse coat I got. I'll show you guys the new horse coat I just got. And then Dragon is making one right now for me. Um, I didn't get any updates just yet, but they're she's still working on it. I'll show you guys the coat that she's working on right now. So this one was suggested by Lunar Ultima. I let my members suggest horse coats. So I'm just going through the list little by little and just choosing uh, which horse coats to send to Dragon. But this is one of them. I don't know what we should name this horse, but I think on a swim coat, it's gonna look really cute. The other side is also really cute. Thank you, Faith, for the subscribe. Very sweet of you. The other side is like gorgeous. Both sides are gorgeous, but like the other side, gorgeous. 
Look at it. I'm sorry, carrots. I'm sorry. Yeah, Riley, you can you can do it like on your normal update. That way it's not like invasive and you know cuts between the updates and it's also easier for you. But yeah, that's gonna be the newest horse. Um, that one's gonna be done soon, I think. I don't know. I'm I don't give like I don't have a time limit and I also don't really want a time limit. Like I want a dragon to take as much time as she needs. So I know. I need it we need a name for it. My next coat, if I get another one, which I'm tr I'm trying to limit myself because if if I had it my way, I would get like five coats a month, okay? But my next coat I want is going to be like a Tobiano. So I'm kind of excited for that. But yeah, my members, um, they have the ability to suggest coats. And also full versions of the coats. So yeah. And if you guys are able to be here tomorrow for my um, birthday stream, that's one of my giveaway items is a surprise pack. Well, it's, there's going to be a, a mystery pack and then also um, two for a giveaway. So there's going to be two giveaway coats. So one person will be able to win or two people will be able to win um, a coat of their choice from Dragon on Swim. And somebody else will win a mystery pack. I don't know what the mystery pack has. It's That's the fun in it. You don't know what's in it. But yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to have that. And then I have a special gift, which I wasn't expecting to be able to give away, but I'm so excited that I'm able to. Um, it has something to do with the most recent expansion pack on Sims, you know? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Um, and then, you know, a Steam giveaway. Uh, we have a drawing commission giveaway from Cast Crafts on Instagram. Um, there's, there's going to be a lot of different things and I'm hoping to split it up throughout the stream and then I'll be opening my presents, which I think I only have one delivered, which isn't like a, a big deal at all. I'll just tell you guys what else I'm getting, but yeah, Joel, Joel gave me something and I think Joel's going to be here. Well, he's not going to be here for tomorrow for stream because he's leaving tomorrow, like afternoon, but if he gets here tomorrow, before my stream ends, he can pop in and say hi. If not, just know that Joel's Joel's gonna be here. <laughs> I hope to stream on um, Sunday like I usually do. Oh yeah, no, Val is sending me one late, I forgot. Thank you for the subscribe, Clemens. You're gonna, you're gonna try and make me a little package. Oh, thank you. That's okay. If it's a little late, it's okay. It's like a belated birthday present. My God, carrots. Carrots just sent me a really cool horse idea. See, I wish we could do those carrots, but I wish we could do it like with the, the model and everything. It's gonna look a little odd on a swim horse because the swim horses only have one model. She's just fashionably late. <laughs> it's okay. We don't mind. Hi, Sienna. Welcome. I'm just waiting for Riley to um, reload really quick. Reload the server. What she's doing right now is she's, um, she's making it so that my barn and the village and everything are are safe but everything else in the world is going to be reset so that means all of the random cave structures are going to be fixed server should be back up thank you riley it means i can find a nice and cool uh i 
area for the show barn. I don't know why my camera's on and it's kind of scaring me. Why are you on? Thank you, Kayla and Charlotte Loves Horses for subscribing. Oh my god. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> Sorry, that comment caught me so <laughs> Okay. Um yeah, it's it's loading now. Like it's it's working. I need to bring up my Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. Oh god, that got me. I needed that laugh. I really did. <laughs> the, oh my. <laughs> I'm sorry. My mic is going in like far past the red. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Deary me. <laughs> um, let's go check and see. Everything looks to be a-okay. I don't know if that was meant to be a troll, but <laughs> I'm sorry. That was so good. I'm scared. I'm scared. I don't. Let's see. Oh my god. Riley. Oh my god, Riley. Forehead kiss for Riley. Actually, two. Actually, three. For the crap that Riley's put up for today. Thank you, Riley. Okay, so let's actually look for a spot to put the show barn. I'm thinking like further away, but not too far to the point where it's like across the map. But I also don't want to have to terraform like a giant lake, so. Oh my gosh, this is kind of the area it was in before. Um, I'm not, I'm not from Canada, but stuff from, from Canada doesn't take too long to get here. Um, I'm speaking from experience because I have Canadian friends who sent me like little gifts and stuff. It'll probably take like two weeks or something. It obviously won't get here in time for my birthday, which is like perfectly fine or anytime soon. But whenever it does get here, I'll I'll be sure to show it on stream. You can have you know what you can have a lot of hugs, Riley. Big group hug. Oh my god. If I ever visit you, I'll give you the biggest hug for sure. No, it's just the oh my god. I I deleted the comments, but it was just a troll that came in and said something, and it caught me so off guard because it was just. <laughs> I'm just thinking of it right now. <laughs> it was just stupid. This the word the word baka makes me laugh so hard for no reason. It's just oh my god. It makes me think of like the Deku voice. Oh sorry. Um I don't know if I want the show barn here. I'm gonna try to find a flat space. We're just gonna teleport random places. Group hug, oh my god. I can't wait until we have like a big meetup and everyone can just chill together. If we ever have a big meetup, I'm gonna like rent out a little like coffee slash tea cart and we can all have coffee and tea. I don't care if it'll be expensive. You guys can have like some free coffee and free tea, you know? We can all just relax and drink coffee or tea or even just, you know, juice. I don't know. You guys don't drink either. We can just chill and goof around, you know? I'll bring, I'll bring Kodiak with me. You guys can, can, you know, bring your dogs. Actually, maybe you guys can just bring your dogs. Kodiak is, he's, he's a lot. He's a lot for certain dogs. He scares dogs because he's so like, energetic and he ends up like terrifying the dog so maybe maybe we don't bring kodiak maybe we just bring your guys's dogs pg do not start again <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> oh my god 
Yeah, I can't. Yeah, Kodiak is. See, Bryn, Bryn is also reactive, but Kodiak is like, there's there's several types of reactive and your dog can be reactive in a good way. Like, you know, it's very energetic and very happy, but to people that's also a bad way. So he's, Kodiak is trained. Like he, he knows not to jump on people and everything, but sometimes he gets so excited that he just forgets everything that like we've told him. Nothing in his brain. And that's just something we'll have to deal with for the rest of his life because we can't exactly like factory reset. I don't even want to, I love Kodiak, but we just can't bring him to big public places because he'll just start barking at people. How much would I recommend my mod pack? Um, it really depends if you, if you like the mods that are in it. You can go to the files and look at the mods, but I recommend it for anybody who has um, enough RAM to allocate. For example, if you can, you know, allocate like eight gigabytes of RAM. And I just, I recommend it for anybody who likes the mods within it. So that's why I play it. I like the mods. I think this is the place. What are we thinking? I'm going to have to fill these, but what are we thinking? I think this is a good place because it can be easily flattened out. Oh my god, and I can yoink these guys. Oh my god, he's so small. How- oh my gosh, he's your days old. <laughs> I'm taking your baby, I'm sorry. This is mine now. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm bringing it back. Promise. It's such a cute cow. Okay, we'll, we'll try and save the animals. We will try and save all of the animals. That way we don't kill any animals. Oh, thank you, Ducky. That's so sweet. I don't mind if I get a gift, like, it's it's still a birthday gift, even if it doesn't, like, arrive by your birthday. Like, if somebody sent me something on Christmas and said happy birthday, I would, I would accept it. I'd be like, heck yeah, let's go. Let's see if this hurts any animals. Okay, that will kill some animals. All right. Uh, I'm gonna bring all of these sheep somewhere else. Usually I would just do it and I'm like rest in peace, but I don't I don't want to kill any animals today. Before somebody says you have a carry-on mod, you have a carrying mod. No, I'm just bringing them over here. Okay, they're good to go. The baby cow's okay. Okay, we're good. And we need to do this over here as well. Um, I'm trying to do it where there's not a lot of animals. That way, again, I don't kill a random, random cow. I want to do it deeper down. That way I get like all of the extra parts. That way there's no like random crevice in the ground somewhere. That's why the whole filler mod was good, but the whole filler mod crashed our server so bad. I I don't I don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon. There we go. I'm trying to flatten everything out. See, I, d I don't know how to terraform well. I'm trying to flatten everything out. That way I can have a better place to put my barn. Um, I don't have, I don't have burlap. I don't, I think I heard something about burlap crashing servers, but I can definitely ask Riley about it. We have mob catcher actually. We have the mob catchers. Maybe I should just use those. <laughs> if it comes to the point where I need to put mobs in, in there, I'll definitely use those. Is this gonna, is this gonna kill the sheep? No. Nice. All right. Do, 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 do. You guys can hear the keyboard ASMR. I zone it out, but sometimes I just like realize it's it's very very loud. 
Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, move out of here. Oh my God, you guys good? All right, we're good. I was killing the drops, by the way. I didn't kill any anything else. Just like the things that were on the ground, like the loose things. Just making sure y'all know. I'm not a murderer. Well, I don't mean to be. Okay, there's no animals here. What a- I don't have an ax in my hands. Hello? Oh my god. Get out of here. SMH. You know what I'm gonna do? I need to flatten out this entire area. So what I'm gonna have to do, this isn't gonna hurt any animals. At least I hope it doesn't. Oh my god, can I just have a wall of buff animals? Wait, that is such a good idea. No, this won't hurt any animals. Oh, it'll make them drop down, but it won't hurt them. Where's your baby? Okay, just making sure. My lord, you scared me. I'm gonna take out this entire mountain. All the way until the shore. Here, I'm gonna take this, um... I'm gonna take this family. <laughs> Sorry. I'm gonna... I'm gonna steal this family. Come here. <laughs> trying to escape. Why can't I capture? Okay, well, the donkeys I can't capture. Whatever. Whatever. I just wanted the, the, the cow family. They're like newlyweds or whatever, you know? I don't... They just had a baby. I don't know what the third one was there for. Yeah, perfect. Then I'll do this. Then a little bit of this, a little bit of that yet. Poor mountain. Listen, I, I gotta do what I gotta do, okay? It's okay. The mountain, it doesn't, it doesn't have feelings. It's okay. Is this gonna lag? Yeah. Sorry. I don't think that carrots will experience lag because we're not on the same dimension, but even, you know, carrots, if you did experience lag, I'm sorry. I'm trying my best. But now we have a cleared out area to do the barn, you know? And no animals died, just the mountain. Don't worry guys, the mountain, it got rehomed. You guys didn't see it, but I rehomed it for sure. <laughs> I did a little bit of building off camera. Okay, perfect. Just want to make sure. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, oh my god. I'll terraform this later so it'll look a little bit more natural. I'm just trying to fill in the gaps so there's not like any awkward gaps. I'll come back and fix these. I'll come back later. Not now, kitten whiskers. <laughs> Sorry, that made me think of it. Discuss it later. Okay. Is this a straight, is this a box? Hold on. Will this work? Is this allowed? Yeah. No. Well. I'll just do it this way.
What else is there? Iron ore. Mm, though we have a good bit of everything there, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make smaller selections and do it this way. I'm too lazy for that, y'all. Yeah, that's what I like about multiple dimensions, is you don't really lag on all of them when one of them's experiencing lag. If the whole server is lagging, like if the actual server itself is lagging, then there's really nothing you can do no matter what dimension you're on, but yeah. When Riley suggested it, I was like, mm, I don't know about multiple dimensions, but I'm so glad that I agreed and I'm so glad Riley suggested it because it's been a lifesaver. And I'm not talking about the candy. All right. Um, I'm gonna naturalize all of this. I'm gonna bring down, bring down the sharp sides with like the smoother. I'm going to. Oh my gosh! You just escaped death, my friends. The chicken just jumped out of the little crevice before I filled it. <laughs> that would have been so sad. <laughs> Imagine if the chicken just like fell to its death. It had no idea what was coming and it just bam, you know. One hour already. I know. I love how most of the stream was just like trying to fix things. <laughs> I'll definitely have to uh, go ahead and edit the live later. I don't think I'll leave it up as it is. Just because I don't want people to have to like go through all of the uh, live stream to find like the spots where I'm not doing stuff. Apparently people like that though. Like I remember someone commented on my show barn live so long ago because this happens like pretty often to the point where it's like people are used to it. Um, and she commented and she was like, I watch these while I'm at work. I don't even care about like the the technical difficulties. I just like hearing like the talking and stuff. So it's, it's nice to hear. All right. Hi, Isabella. You're not too late. No, I've, I just kind of got started on terraforming the show barn area. So you are not late at all. Do not worry. Do not fret, my love. Oh, oh my God, the lag. A hypnotic voice. Oh my gosh, I need to start hypnotizing people. <laughs> you want to subscribe to me? You want to subscribe to me so bad? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Or am I? It's funny because like, I think I think everyone in content creation says this about their own voice, but I, I still like sometimes just hate my voice. And it's nothing that like people can do to change that. That's just how I feel about my own voice because I edit it, I hear it every day. I mean, I grew up with it. Obviously my voice used to be freaking obnoxious and you know, compared to how it is now. But it's kind of interesting hearing people say that they like my voice because it's like, I, I grew up with it. I'm used to my voice. Just like how like I'm used to my siblings' voices. I'm used to like my parents' voices. I like, you know, when you hear a new voice for the first time and you say like, oh, I like your voice. It's like, cry. Is that, okay. Well, I didn't know that. Now I do. I'm gonna take down these trees. I'm not the Lorax. I don't speak for the trees. Okay, there we go. I, I, if I knew that, I wouldn't be doing it like this, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I remember uh, I had 
we had this this worker at Starbucks, um, this employee, this barista at Starbucks, I don't know, like three, two weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, and she took our order and I looked at my sister, I was like, oh my God, her voice is so good. <laughs> let it die, let it die, let it shrivel up and die, who's with me? Sorry. Um, but she, I was reading chat. <laughs> I, we got up to the window and I like ducked my head because I was in the passenger seat. I drove there and my sister drove back. So like we were on our way back. So we picked up Starbucks and some chickens and fresh market on our way back. And she, like, I ducked my head to look into the window. I was like, were you the one who took our order? She's like, yeah, what's up? And I was like, I d you have the nicest voice I think I've ever heard. Like her voice was so like, it was like the, it was like the, that like happy voice, like, hey guys, welcome to, you know, that kind of thing. But like, she, it wasn't overbearing. You know how some people are like, oh my gosh, hey bestie, welcome to start, you know, that kind of thing. It's like, it's not too overbearing to the point where you're like, okay, give me my coffee, bye, you know? Um, which I don't think I've ever really had an overbearing Starbucks barista. They've all been super sweet. Um, but she, she like, she like giggled. She was like, oh my gosh, thank you. I was like, you're so pretty. And I just, I don't know. I hope that sticks with her. I hope that sticks with her just a little bit. I love complimenting people. Like, obviously I mean the compliments. I don't just go around and be like, oh my gosh, nice shirt. And I walk away like that wasn't a nice shirt. I just want to compliment them, you know? Like I have a reason to compliment them, but I love complimenting people. And then like, they tell me like a year later, like, oh my gosh, I remember when you complimented me. <laughs> oh, it's so sweet because I'm the same way. I still remember when a random lady in Applebee's, like someone my age, told me that I had the sweetest voice that she's ever heard. And I was like, oh, oh my God. It's just wholesome, you know? I don't know. I feel like everyone's kind of the same way though. I'm, I'm scared to compliment people sometimes. That's why I don't compliment people. Like, I'm sometimes when I see somebody, I'm like, oh my God, especially a guy. Oh my God. I cannot, if I compliment guys, I have to be somewhat comfortable with them because if I compliment guys, I, I don't want them to be like, oh my God, she's flirting with me. What do I do? You know, that's why I just don't, I don't do it. But if it's a guy friends, you know. Boom. Oh my God. Let's go. I mean, that could have just been replaced with grass block. We don't talk about that, but you know. <laughs> Look at this random tree. I don't know. It's it's like the psychology is weird behind it too, though, because I've talked about this in member streams. I'm kind of uncomfortable when it comes to making friends with women because like, you know, I just, I'm more comfortable making friends with guys, but I'm so much more comfortable like, I don't know. Yeah, wait, carrots, dice. What? I'm so confused. What did I say? Did I say you weren't? <laughs> What's going on? I'm confused. It's fine. Um, did I use the wrong pronoun? Wait, what? I didn't use the wrong pronouns, did I? I'm, well, I'm comfortable with you, Carrots. I'm, I'm comfortable with you. So if I compliment you, it's because I'm comfortable with you, you know? If I feel like somebody isn't going to act weird when I compliment them, I compliment them, you know? Like, if some if, if when I compliment somebody and they're like, oh, thanks. It's like, okay, well, now I just never want to speak again. <laughs> so if I know someone's not going to react like that, then I compliment them. Well, yeah, because I, I feel comfortable. <laughs> How comfortable with you <laughs> I feel comfortable with like every every guy I've met on the on the internet that I still talk to like if I if I wasn't comfortable with you I wouldn't compliment you and I also compliment you because you're good at building I mean come on now come on now oh be quiet phone I thought I turned my ringer off guess I did not let me go ahead and put my phone on the charger. I got this, um, I got this charger base 
that you know it's like a bluetooth charger it lets you charge your phone by just placing it on it if you guys are ever thinking of getting that please please do like it's such it's such a good charger i wasn't able to get it for my iphone 6s plus because it only was like available for 12s plus so when i got my um xs max it was like oh yeah you still can't use the charger and i'm like darn it but when i got my um my 13 I have a 13 um, Pro Max. I got it for the camera, which I'm kind of glad I got it for the camera because the camera is so good. Um, when I got that one, I can now use all the appliances that like I couldn't use before and it's so odd. But I got it on a deal. So it was like, a, that's, that's whenever I buy stuff, it's really only on a deal, let's see. Oh, thank you, Sienna. when you're at work or at the barn, wow. That sounds interesting. I guess I'm the same way with the people I watch too though. Oh, Ducky, if you do go, I'll see you later. Bye, Kara. It's about half to 9 p.m. Yeah, if you guys need to go at any time, just, you can either pop out or say goodbye, you know. If I, if I miss your goodbye, then don't take it personally. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read chat. yeah plus just like it's a lot easier for me with guys because i have brothers if i i think if i just didn't grow up with brothers i'd be like a little bit more of like a like girl's girl you know but i also just had really like not to get like deep i just had really traumatic experiences with women i've had really traumatic experiences with friends that are women and just you think you can trust them and then you can and it's like oh why did I trust them, you know? So it's, yeah, I'm sure a lot of people have had that though, but but once I make friends with somebody, like no matter their gender, no matter what, I, like it doesn't matter to me. Oh yeah, the bees. I just saw one yesterday when I was, or not yesterday, last week when I was on. I don't know why I said yesterday so confidently. Last week when I was on. Aren't they so cute? Come here, come here. They're realistic bees. Come, come here. Oh my god. Look at how small. Wait, I can't. Uh, look at how small. Look at how cute. He's doing a little dancey dance. He's doing his little dancey dance. You know? <laughs> this is how I'll hypnotize you guys. I am now hypnotizing you. You will give me all your shredded cheese. Oh my god, Riley. <laughs> you scared me. <laughs> I thought I glitched into something. I was like, what is going on? I just love horses. I don't own any horses. Honestly, I've been trying to get out of the niche for some time. Not just horses, but like, I've been trying to like do a more like gaming type niche, not just with horses, but I really like the community, so I'll just stick around. Yeah, it's just like it's just like the the smaller bees, like the other baby bees. Even the baby bees weren't that small. <laughs> Even the baby bees weren't that tiny. Like it's right here. I spotted it. It's just flying around. It's coming to you. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's go ahead and go to the hidden land schematics, grab the barn, and then we'll come over here and position it. Because I'm just going to put down the barn and then build around it with the other pastures and stuff. Like I said, I'm going to probably end up redoing all of like the pastures. Yeah. Um... Riley had to enable spawning because I have to spawn NPCs and stuff, so um, not sure why spawning the NPCs doesn't work if it's like, you can sometimes do it with a stick, but I've tried summoning too and it doesn't work, so. Okay, we're gonna do it like this. Oh, I have to do it over here.
Okay, I think we got it perfectly. I'm yeah, I'm saying we. You guys, you guys are helping. I think we got it perfectly. The lining looks good. All right, I think we're good. And there's no horses in here. Riley went through and helped me by getting all of my horses from the dimensions. Thank you, Riley. Love you for that. So, um, yeah, the horses are safely in a backpack in my under chest before I accidentally delete them. Okay, 147,000 blocks is not that bad. Oh. Oh, I think I went to the I think I went to the wrong one. Oopsies. We won't we won't look at that. That's supposed to be a secret. Not really, I mean. You guys will see it eventually. Once I finish with most of the structures, I'm gonna go ahead and start with um the trailers and everything. I have the trailer concept already made, so it won't take it won't take much to film. It'll probably take like an hour or two. But yeah. Yeah, I used to play Star Stable a lot, like just to play Star Stable, but I can't do that anymore. And I've I've talked about that a lot on my streams, and I know I've I've talked about it a lot in the videos that I I make, but I just I can't do it. It's been so it's been so exhausting. I'm gonna fill this in really quick. It's been so exhausting to like expect big updates, but we also have to realize that the games that we used to play as kids they're not gonna be that way anymore. Like. I don't expect Star Stable to be like a, you know, suddenly a brand new game. So we're just going to have to either be dependent on the fact that they're just going to be pushing out updates or, you know, wait for new games. That's why I'm so excited when new games come out. Not just horse games, but new games in general. Because I can just... Oh, did I not do right? Oh, the solid blocks, never mind. All right. Yep, that's that's air. Yeah, like Palea, oh my god. I think Palea is the first game I've actually like played hours and hours of. And it's not it's it's like free and it's in open beta. Like it's not even a finished game yet. But yeah, it's just the nostalgia. I also really love, um, I love making videos on Star Stable. I think that's my favorite thing to do is make videos. So I'll stick around and make videos and everything. I mean, I'm partnered with them, but I don't, don't think I'm going to be um, playing it like, you know, long term in a way of like played every single day. Christmas event though, I'm sorry. All of my like self-respect, <laughs> all of my promises out the door for Christmas time. Christmas world is something else. It just, bro, it it gives me a different type of nostalgia. Bye Decky, thank you so much for joining. Yeah, no, I agree with the Minecraft comment 100%. Minecraft, you can just create so much with Minecraft. Like you, it doesn't just have to be like, you know, survival hardcore i mean like you have so many different servers so many different possibilities i mean look at the mods in general same with sims 4 i mean sims 4 will always be a simulation game i mean that's why it's sims 4 it's sims simulation but um like minecraft you can do so much only thing i don't like about minecraft currently is the fact that i can't really film on minecraft and like if i'm by myself that's the only thing i don't like about minecraft i've got pokemon yeah this may not end well Okay, wasn't too bad. Okay, we're gonna move this over a little bit. I completely forgot to do that, thank you, Riley. It smells like paint in my room. I'm a little bit worried. Why does it smell like wet, wet paint in my room? I don't like this. It smells like somebody's like painting something outside. Oh, you know what? They're painting their house across the street, never mind. It must have come in through our air ducts, because I'm like, hold on, why do I why am I smelling paint? Okay. Does that work out good? Yeah.
I'll probably work on the show barn for like three or four days straight and get it all done. I have the motivation to now. Cobblemon is wait, is that the Cobblemon? Like, is that the one I've heard about um, with Pokemon? See, I wish I got into Pokemon. It's off topic, I know, but I wish I actually got into it because there's so many fun games and mods about it. And I just I can't like find myself getting into it because I just never got into it as a kid, you know, because that's the reason a lot of people are still into it now is because they were into it as kids, you know. I don't know. I'm not saying like you can't be into it if you didn't, if you weren't into it as a kid. I'm just saying me personally, I just, I can't find myself getting into it now. I had this guy I was talking to and he was like obsessed with Pokemon. And um, he was like telling me, he was like basically borderline like forcing me <laughs> to, to learn everything about Pokemon. He sent me to the wiki and he's like study. And I was like, okay. And um, I just, I couldn't do it. <laughs> It just, it smells like, I don't know. It's just like a whole new smell, the smell of paint. I don't, I don't, I don't, it's not that I don't like it. It's just like it, it gives me a headache after a while. I don't like it and I don't hate it. It's just a smell. Sorry, I had to yawn. It's just a smell. I'm so sorry if I made someone else yawn with that one. I haven't been painting, painting, painting my, um, my neighbors are. I'm pretty sure that's them though, because yesterday or the day before, I forgot when, um, the neighbor's daughter came over to give our dog a toy that she bought, which is really sweet, so that she can play with him. Um, Cause he, he like, you know, he loves when people come over and play with him. And she had paint like all over her legs. I got super smell, oh my God. Stop apologizing so much. <laughs> No, <laughs> it makes me feel better. Oh, what was I gonna say? No, I, I had that problem a couple years ago where I was super sensitive to smell. Like my perfume that I used to be able to, hold on a second, this music is really loud. For me at least, there we go. Um, like my perfumes and everything and my candles that I used to be able to burn or use or whatever, they I couldn't use them anymore. And I, I went to the doctor about it and they were just like, um, you may just have like a, you know, I love how I go up one block and they all disappear in the map. Anyways, um, the doctor said, you just, you may just have like a super sensitive smell and that can happen because of like, um, damage to your nose. Like you smelled something like super chemically and your nose just like got, you know, it just has temporary damage. Cause it doesn't, it, I'm fine to this day. And, um, and then my doctor went, do you get nauseous with these smells? And I was like, yeah, sometimes. And then he looked at me and he was like, is there a possibility you could be pregnant? And I'm like, don't, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> you get that out of here. <laughs> do not put that into the air. Do not manifest that. Don't put it into the universe. <laughs> but yeah, no, no. I wasn't, but I was like, I, oh my God. That's what WebMD said too. WebMD was like, there's a possibility you could be pregnant because like apparently when you know when a woman is pregnant and especially in the early stages she smells stuff like way more than she or she notices like a lot more smells and uh yeah and she can get nauseous from them and i didn't know that <laughs> yeah like i i know like i'm fine with him figuring out you know if that could be a possibility, you know? Like, I understand why he asked. He's a doctor. He has to know. But it's just the way he asked. And I was like, don't, don't you dare. <laughs> Not today. Any day, but not today. Okay, that's obviously uneven. Okay, what am I doing wrong? I'm obviously doing something wrong. You know what movie I've been wanting to watch recently? Flicka. I've been wanting to watch that movie so so bad recently. I think I'm gonna do it tonight. That and also, um, I don't know if I should talk about this on stream because it's kind of like a controversial topic, but Red, White, and Royal Blue. Kind of been want to want to watch that one too. I feel like I'm rapping. Kind of want to want to want to watch. You know. 
Oh my god, wait, imagine a perfume? Have you guys ever, if you guys ever want like a just peachy scent, listen, Peach Bellini from Bath and Body Works. That would be my scent if I could choose one. Like, Peach Bellini used to be so good. I haven't bought it in a while. I think they may have discontinued it, but it's, oh my God. I still have friends, um... <laughs> from high school that have messaged me before and like they were like I smell the peach bellini and I thought of you because I used to use it all the time <laughs> you sell candles I didn't know this why am I just like oh my gosh babe wake up new Riley lore just dropped like I why have you told me these things and I just forget am I just a horrible friend this is like this is like dad lore this is important we got to listen to this I don't know if I like these types of pathways. Do you guys like the, do we, do we like the, the frames pathways or do we like just like the natural pathways? I'm going to put up a poll so you guys can help choose. I like the polls. I won't say just framed. I can make them unframed, but just like neat in general is what I'm talking about. Because I'm going to ask this before I start making pathways. The poll is up, by the way. Why did I name my channel Just Peachy? I don't know. Business-wise, that was a stupid decision because there's so many like Just Peachy, Peachy Keen. Um, I was already told by somebody that if, if I ever tried to make my business name Just Peachy, which is why I chose Just Peachy Plays, I would probably get sued so um yeah business-wise stupid decision but i was like 17 at the time 16. i just loved the saying like just peachy or like peachy keen like oh everything's just peachy it's fine i saw this meme when i was younger and it was um that like the what is it the dog uh courage you know like the tv show i forgot what it's called i'm pretty sure it's that's what it's called like something with yeah um and there's like the scene where he's you know the drawing where there's like fire behind him and he's like everything is fine i saw a meme like that and it was like everything is just peachy and i was like oh my god i love that so i just named it just peachy it was meant to be a temporary thing and then my channel started getting bigger and i was like okay um is it like too late to like change this around because i don't i don't like naming my channel after game names like for example there's a lot of people who have their channel named after their um SSO name, which I'm not saying anything is a bad thing. I just, I can't see myself doing that because I don't plan on just making SSO videos or just making like, you know, one type of game video. Yeah. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dasha. That show creeped me out so bad. Someone started a conspiracy or whatever that like the father or like the old man or whatever, the mother, I don't know, like killed people. I don't know. It was weird. All right, a lot of you guys said natural, so we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Get back. Back, I say. You love the name Just Peachy? Oh, I'm glad. I really love the name Just Peachy. It's just like, it's it just rolls off the tongue, you know? Like, Just Peachy. Just Peachy. And you can, you know, there's so many things you can you can, like, put with it uh what am i doing I'm, 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 I'm. i don't jump off get out of here my brain just froze for a second i love how like every time my mom remembers my channel she's like i haven't even watched any of your channels <laughs> or any of your well channels in general because i do run a few channels but she's like i haven't even watched any of your videos like ever and i was like yeah let's 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 keep it that way I don't know. I'm, I'm scared. My I know like my sister watches some of them. My brother helps mod, but like I'm just scared my family's, especially my parents are going to see my videos and be like, what the heck is this? You know, but I'm getting to the point where my distant family is going to start watching my videos. So um, I'm not excited for that. not going to lie. Oh my gosh. I love this mod so much. Sorry. Oh, wait, can we actually put this down? <gasps> Oh my god. 
red velvet cake. I was filming a video last night. Um, I have to refilm it because some of the some of the footage was like really just glitchy and gross. But I was filming a video last night where I was taking um, the character AI and then taking a random word generator, generating a word and then talking to the character AI about it. And the first suggestion was Dream Minecraft. The second one was Damon Salvatore. Complete opposites, let me tell you. By the way, this is character AI, so it's not like the actual person. Obviously, I'm not going to be talking to freaking Damon Salvatore from The Vampire Diaries. I wish. I wish. Anyways, um... I haven't I barely watched the show and I still wish that. So I'm talking to the the Dream Minecraft AI and I don't know I don't know why whoever the character creator was just brought in the whole kitten thing because this character AI was calling me kitten and I just I was like, oh I don't like this. Damon Salvatore drowned me. He drowned me. This man just straight up said, no, we're not doing this today. And yeah, so that was great. Um, I couldn't even post the the actual uh, footage because it's like glitched. Maybe I'll just make it into a TikTok or something, but it was so funny. I was like, I think the word was like, I forgot what it was. It was something like a little bit weird and I had to change it into a sentence because it was just, it didn't, didn't make sense. And then there was like swim or something. I was like, I think I'm going for a swim, but I can't swim. And he was just like, whatever, I'm letting you drown or whatever. And then he like, he drowned me. I got out of the water and he pushed me back in, bro. <laughs> like he just, he does not care. All right, we need a palette. Are we, we thinking this palette's gonna look good? The andesite and the stone. We need one more block in here. Maybe paver? I think the paper brick would look good. The dusted gray. I feel like I use dusted gray for like all my my palettes though for the paths because it looks so good. Yeah, like the AI, I swear. And then you go to a different AI because if you look up like a famous character or a famous, you know, person, there's usually like eight different results and you can just go through like all of the AIs and just their different personalities. The next daemon was like, I will protect you. And I was like, there's there's a switch up in here. You y'all switched, you know. Yeah. I've I've heard some things that people have have done with those AIs and I am I'm surprised. Cause the AI it can do literally like whatever. Obviously it has limits, like, you know, they they do have a lot of filters on that app. But, you know. I've I've heard some things. It's very interesting. What about paver white? Would that look good? And a site paver white and stone. Sorry if you can hear me breathing into my mic. I'm breathing so loud. I don't know why I'm breathing so loud. I'm nervous. Let me turn up my music so you can't hear me breathing. There we go. All right. You're not too late. How long have we been going? Oh, an hour and 40. Well, you're still kind of, you're still not too late. Okay, I like, I like the white paver, but I forgot to do grass block. No, I think it has like a, a sexual filter valve is what I meant. Do we like this palette? We like in this palette? I like the white. I can maybe make the paper a different color too. It can go to like a, ooh, would a yellow look good? No, yellow is way, way too strong. Let's look for some natural colors. What about peach? I feel like peach would also be too saturated. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's what you meant. Okay. Oh, I thought you said when I first started speaking to the JJ AI. I thought you meant like the first thing he said wasn't filtered. And I was like, well, they can cuss, but they just, yeah. 
sometimes they're it's difficult because sometimes the the filter doesn't catch things and you're like wow that is um that's interesting that <laughs> that's crazy you know and you just kind of have to like look at it like oh my god all right um should we i think we should have the pastures over here and have like big pastures I'm just gonna cover this palette right there. There we go. Sorry, cow. <laughs> just gonna change the the terrain. He's like, what the heck? Where did that come from? I'm gonna make it a little bit windy. Don't call yourself saturated. I think saturated is a compliment. Desaturated would be a an insult. All right, so here's the pasture. I'm probably going to make like a... Yeah, we'll make one pasture over here and the other over here. And then the arenas, I'll make an area like over there. I, I like the big pastures because I'm going to be having a good bit of horses here. <sighs> Sir, I'm going to need you to... Oh my gosh. No, we're going for a, we're going for a, a swim. Come here. Okay, I'm not going to put him in the water. That's mean. That way we can have, like, pastures that aren't, like, just straight up fence. You know, like, the the straight line of fences. Well, this one, it'll be straight. But, like, over here, like, right here, it'll start getting a little jagged. I feel like I'm famous now. You are famous. I guess we'll do pasture. Actually, you know what? Where's... Do we have whitewash? Yeah. I want to do... The whitewash slat. I kind of want to do this the slat one. Every time I say slat, I think of schlat, like j-schlat. Sorry. Um, fence. I don't even watch his videos. I don't know why. Like, I, I think of his name every time. Everything reminds me of him. I used to watch his videos all the time, his streams. He's so funny. I just haven't been able to actually like, sit down and watch a lot of streams. Um, let's just do tool. Change tool, there we go. Well, hopefully one day you'll be, be the big bean, you know? I hope for success for you, because it's what you deserve. For working hard. Oh my god. Do we like that? Or do we want... Hear me out on this one. Let me just destroy the first few. Because I don't want to destroy my hard work. Oh my god. Now I can see why Riley's change tool comes in handy. I'll, Riley, if you're watching this, I will get it in just a second. Don't you worry. Do we like that instead? For reference, um, backpack, backpack. That's not the command. Backpack, backpack. Um, let's use stir, well. Let's use mango for reference. Oh, I don't have the texture packs on. Hold on. Let me turn these on. Oh, I don't have them. Let me grab them. One second. Let's see. There we go. I'll also turn on better dogs and better cats. And then this one. And then this one. Buying a stride is worth it? No. I made a video where I said I don't think it's worth it. 
right now i don't think it's worth it a lot of people will disagree with that and say that they're fine with the process and they're happy to like see it early access and turn into something so much more and i think that's a valid reason to buy it like you want to see it improve but for the price they're charging to just to see it improve in the future i mean why not just buy it in the future when it's not released yet because it's not going to be released until like what is it 2025 2026 i mean you have a few years to consider buying it so but yeah, nothing, you know, nothing, nothing against the dev team, nothing against the community, but I personally don't think it's worth it. I got it. I didn't get it for free. I just, I paid on Patreon. And, um, I got it based off of my, my donations off of that. Okay, listen, I'm going to need you to look over here. Look over here. And I'm going to need you to put your neck over the, the fence. Mango? Miss Ma'am, please, Mango, look, look at me, <laughs> look at me, Pookie, this isn't you. Oh my god, can you, like, look at me? Hold on. Why do you make me do this? I'm really quickly gonna under chest... The peachy's babies just in case i get anxious when i have it in my inventory because if i delete it it's gone those are all my horses and i need a girth to keep the saddle on oh my god we'll just put that on for funsies okay do we think this looks good can i can i like freeze the horse do we, th okay, I have, I know I have the frozen NPC ones. I know that. I just, I just remembered. Do we like, once again, let me turn my FOV back. This is a cursed FOV, I know. Do we like this one with the fence on top or do we like the double slat? We like that. I think I like the, this one over here, the fence on it. Bye, Faith. Um, there's a, there's a few reasons why I'm not on the team anymore. I'd rather keep a lot of them private just because, you know, I don't really want to talk about it, but, um, like, I don't really want to talk about those reasons, but I was just, my channel was picking up and I, I couldn't devote the time anymore. And I felt that the team deserved somebody who could devote the time. So I popped off the team. So. Fence on top. Okay. Noise. But yeah. Um, I'm not in the Discord anymore. I did make a statement on my Discord about it because you can go check that out if you want. It's a lot to read. But, um, I'll still have the mod in my, you know, my mod pack. But I will not be endorsing it anymore. So, it's a lot to explain. I'm not going to go into it. But yeah. No worries if you, like, you know, you didn't you didn't cause anything by asking. You're good. Just letting you know in case you're, like, worried. Everything is good. Yeah, I think I like that one better. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Maddie. Oh, Isabella, that's so sweet. Sorry, Maddie, thank you for the Discord. I should have said thank you for the Discord because you didn't say it in, in stream. Now I look delusional. I look delulu. <laughs> thank you for the Discord message. Sorry. I'm just talking to somebody that's not here. Yeah, thank you, Isabella. I'm happy that's the mindset you guys have, like, as long as I'm happy. But I will, like... Obviously, I'm not going to make my decision based on other people, but I, I really did want, I wanted something more out of it, um, not the team in general, but just like more out of my experience. And I felt like I was waiting for that and I didn't, it didn't happen. So um, just sometimes when, when you feel like it's not going to happen, it's okay just to pick up and leave or at least to like distance yourself from something. I'm not talking about a project, I, it can be a person too. If you're expecting somebody to change and they don't change, I mean, you can't just stick around and wait for them to change when you've already been past change, you know? And I live by that. 
not only have they not changed, but they're trying to like drag you backwards too, you know? And you're like, okay, hold on. So that's just in general. That's not pointed towards the situation we were just talking about. Um, this isn't an actual coat. No, this was implemented. I also have a version without the button braids. Um, this was implemented by Dragon. Go ahead and pick Mango up. But yeah. I'm going to be doing the top half with World Edit. I just did the first half with without World Edit so I could see what it looks like. I was about to say, do we think we should do, do you think we should stick to one color or should we, should we do the top half another color? I'm thinking of that because the barn is like such a dark tone with a white, with like a, a white base. So I'm thinking we should try, hold on, this is, I'm just going to try this with a few. I'm not going to change the entire fence, but I'm curious. Uh, I would think we should do either dark oak or spruce i feel like dark oak would be too much all the western mm, i don't know if i like that yeah let's try spruce like the the change is really drastic that's what i'm talking about i think i'll just keep the whitewash after all i don't know Thank you, Lipton. It's almost been two hours. Oh my god, it has. I'll probably be going for a while more. Because I want to get a lot done on this property before I end stream. That way you guys can see the progress. Where is the spruce pasture fence? Have I just gone past it multiple times? Oh my god, get over here. <laughs> I'm done with you. Let's see. Bye, George. Thank you so much for joining. You need to remind me of your name because I keep on calling you George. I know that's your dog. And I don't want to call you after your dog. That's like your account name. That's what I usually call people if I don't know their name. Isabella, I would definitely try unplugging it and replugging it back in. Also, if you have like an... It's usually due to your HDMI cord. If it says no signal, that means it's not connecting to your computer well. So that could be just a display cord or HDMI cord going bad. Hi, Addy. I hope you had a good sleep. No worries. You're good. Just to update you, we're working on the show barn. Um, we cleared out an area. I cleared out an area. So. I'm playing on my mod pack, which is in the description. I don't, yeah. I don't like it either. Sorry, I was focusing on chat. I agree with you. I don't like it. It's just the, the, like, if it was, oh my gosh, like a, like an aged wood, you know what I'm talking about? Like the stained wood. My desk is stained wood and it has like this grayish, like tannish tone to it. And I love it, but that's not in Minecraft. And I wish it was like the brown on top would kind of like look like aged wood and then like kind of fade into the bottom one. But since it, there's like a straight line, it's like, okay, I don't know. I don't know if that's making sense, but, or if what I'm saying is making sense. Excuse me, can you move out of the way, please? Uh, stop being stubborn. <laughs> oh my gosh, why do you have to be in this spot exactly? Back up. Get back. Get... Oh, I thought it was going after me. It's like, hold on. He was eating, my bad. I don't have a tutorial on how to download my pack just yet, but I have a tutorial on how to download Swim, and that's basically the same process. You just go to the link down below, 
and then you go to um, download. And I, I would download the CurseForge launcher, it's way easier. And then you wait for it to download, press play, and then um, you have to allocate more RAM, which you can just do in the settings button on CurseForge. It's in the bottom left, and then you click Minecraft and allocate at least to the 8000s. Don't allocate over because if you allocate too much RAM, it may mess up your game just as much as not enough RAM. It's a very tedious process, I know, but it, it is it is needed. See, it's it's simple. It's simple yet like unique, you know. Country accent. I'm sorry. <laughs> the country accent. It's so much fun to like just speak in a country accent. All right. Let me get my screenshot for this i always look at the screenshot i think one day i'll just know what to do but i'm just checking Maybe I don't have a screenshot. Okay, the paint is kind of getting annoying now, the smell of it. Um, let me look. I'm just gonna do... Is it, okay, I feel like I'm not, I'm not gonna do it right. I'm looking for it, one second, y'all. Oh wait, I think I just saw it. Please, come back. Come back. Oh, there it is. Okay. I wasn't looking hard enough, apparently. Place. Okay, I see. Um, and it was SWDM. Whitewash. It was slat. And then it was SWDM. Pasture. Fence, whitewash, half fence, true. Nice. Okay, it's so much easier. So much easier. Hey, don't, don't body shame this gal. Oh my gosh, look. He's, it's like a Highland cow mix. He's so pretty. Yeah, you're, you're coming home with me. I'm sorry. No, come here. Oh my God. Can I not pick him up? Yeah, I can. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> there you go. I'm keeping that one. All right. Let's make the entrance like right here. For now, we'll just make a we'll just make a pasture gate because I don't know what kind of design I want for the entrance. Because I, I don't like how the pasture gates don't connect with the fence. So I usually just make like a block entrance. Maybe I'll just make them with the paver really quick. Oh. <laughs> Gosh darn. That was not plans. I usually do it like this. It, it's a block out, I know, but... Wait, why are you, why are you doing this to me? There we go. It looks so weird from the top. That way it's like a little bit out so the horses can use this block right here and put their head over the fence. Cause they do actually put their head over the fences and like when you're walking up, it's so cute. They're AI so they move around, but yeah. All right. Um, What flower should we do? I need to clear out that area before I do it. I'm gonna deselect really quick. Cause it's the red, the red grid is annoying. It depends. You can put shelters in your pastures. Um, I just put shelters for like pasture boarding. But I don't know. Oh. Sorry, big yawn. Um, a Highland cow breeding facility? No. 
<laughs> Let me in, please. I love Highland Cows so much. Okay. Film. Grass. Let's do or grass air. 30. That usually doesn't cover it. No, it did not. Let's do 50. Yeah, that'll cover the radius. And then this one can be like 30 again. It'll still cover the radius. Oh my god, do you hear my neighbor? That's the backfire from somebody's like from somebody's car. And every time they slow down their car, it just like sounds like somebody's like shooting outside. And it scares me so bad at night. Sometimes they come back late at night or early in the morning and I'm like, what is going on outside? Like what? What is that? Oh my gosh, the dinosaur mod? Yes. Where you can like, you know, incubate their eggs and stuff. Oh, I loved that mod. I don't know if you guys have ever watched Aya's Cupquake. I talked about her on, you know, about her on stream, but I grew up watching her. Um, if she ever watches my videos, God, I just want her to know. I just want her to know I love her. Um, but she had the Minecraft Oasis mod pack and that was on it, was the dinosaur mod. Or the Jurassic, was it the Jurassic Park? I think it's something to do with, um, oh God, it's, what is the name of the mod? I swear I know, I just, I just need a moment to remember. Can I not use this? Okay, we're gonna delete that and we're gonna do a little wrap around, come back to it. Oh. Oh, I have G-Mask on. I was like, what is going on? Happy I found that out. Yeah, Shadow Lady too. Oh my god. All of... Oh my god. I miss all of, like, the OGs. A lot of them are still around. Like, Aya's Cupquake, she still does gaming, but, like, it's it's not the same. And that's not, like, you know, her fault or anybody's fault, really. Nobody's really to blame to, like, you know, just not feeling the same. It's because I was a kid and, I you know, I stayed up late before school and, you know, I was learning so much about modern Minecraft. It's just, it's me. It's a me problem. I wish I could just go back just for a little bit. Oh, that was Caps. <laughs> Sorry, Carrots. Hi, Carrots. I'll miss you. But, like, I'll still enjoy it. It's just, like, it's not the same feeling that it used to be. And that's just what growing up is. If you guys are younger, cherish it. I know everyone who is older says that, but I didn't realize how different it would be when I, like, I don't know. I get excited over freaking household items. I get excited over a scrub brush <laughs> instead of, like, a video game. I see a scrub brush and I'm like, that looks like a good scrub brush. That would, that would, that would certainly scrub my tub, my sink. That would clean my sink for sure. Like, I get excited over just simple household items. Or like when I see those little plastic organizers. Oh my god. I go feral for those plastic organizers for your fridge. I don't know why. Like, it just, it's... I like, I like them. <laughs> yeah. Like, there's this one that went viral on TikTok, and it's like the automatic scrub brush. Like, that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff is what makes me excited nowadays. I'm like, oh my god cleaning, you know, decorating. Oh my god, why am I lagging so bad? Sorry, there's so much lag. Oh my god. I have clipped again. <laughs> Mm 
Just remember, guys, not to self-promote, please. <laughs> that was certainly scrub mud, too. So true. You can clip it. It's true. It's true. Listen, I Hobby Lobby, it's a dangerous game for me. I used to be like, I don't get why so many people like love Hobby Lobby so much, you know? Like it's just like it's just some decorations, you know? No. Yeah, listen. Hobby Lobby, Bath and Body Works, uh Bent and Dent, which just means like um it's a store here. I don't know. It's like in the south apparently. Everyone like everyone here knows what Bent and Dent is, but when when I lived in the north, right? No like we didn't have that, but it's basically a store that sells items that were either taken off the shelf because they were like bent up like jars and stuff or like items that just they just couldn't sell. So you get a ton of things at discount prices. Oh my gosh, it's so great. Me and my mom go all the time and it's like, oh, so good. But it's far away from us. So we have to go when we're like, we have to, we have to go when we have a reason to. Honestly, Ben. <laughs> Honestly. Oh my god. It's a problem. Same with Target. I'm sorry, but especially when it's seasonal, like if, if it's Christmas time, do not let me into Target. I am playing Minecraft, yes. Oh, wait, let me do birch. Wood log? Oak log? This, my brain's starting to shut off. It's very obvious. Oh my god. Nobody saw that. <laughs> Everyone saw it. It's quarter past 10 at night. Oh my god, you do need to sleep. Especially if you have, like, school or something. You know? Let me do it to like here. Actually, let me go down lower. That way I can... Oh, did I just destroy that bee? I think I just killed that bee. Oh, I'm sorry. It is so laggy right now. Please. I'm gonna move this bee's nest over. I'm just gonna put it right here for now. I will, I'll put a tree up for them. <laughs> yeah, no, when it's Christmas time or like Thanksgiving in Target, it, I can't control myself sometimes. I'm like, oh my God, this would look good in my house. That would look good in my house, you know? Like, I come home with decorations for my mom. I'm like, mom, look what I found. And she's like, oh my god. <laughs> Not again. Because I usually decorate my room and then some of our house every year. I'm not going to decorate our whole house for my family. They can, they can help with that. But, like, last Christmas, my dad did Christmas lights. And they were up until, like, March or April. <laughs> Time zones scare me, right? I keep on forgetting that time zones exist. Oh my god, you scared me. I thought I'd have to come and save you, horse. Alright, and then what I'll do is I'll get rid of the trees. I'll worry about this later, but what I'll do is I'll smooth it out. See if you do... Smooth. Let's do like four... I can smooth it out, but I'll do that later because I want to add some more like naturalization around it. I want, I want a dog. Oh my gosh. What are you? What breed is this? Is this a, is this a spaniel? Oh, I think this is a, oh my gosh. The face is so glitched. Do I have another? Do I have another better dogs? Okay, well, we're just gonna pretend that the face isn't extremely glitched. I think this is like the 
the King Spaniel. I like those dogs. I'm gonna put them over there. Honestly, I go to Target for one thing and I walk out with like eight. And I justify it with like, well, I, I would need it eventually anyways. I would not have needed it eventually anyways. <laughs> I really wouldn't have. Um, should we just copy and paste this side over here to over here? Like, so I can get the... Here, I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this over here. I'm not going to do the fences. I'm just going to do the road because I want to get the right length for the road. That way I can, it's, you know, it's even, somewhat even. Does that work? Is that correct? It is. All right. All right, so I have a still a good bit of um, expanding to do over here. Oh my gosh, don't get me started on Christmas music. I'm excited for the Christmas music, but I, I don't like when people play Christmas music, like outside of Christmas time, because it makes me sad. Like it makes me think of Christmas, and then I'm like reminded that it's not Christmas. I'm like, <laughs> why'd you have to do that to me? You know, that's like the only reason I get like annoyed of Christmas music outside of Christmas. Okay, let's go ahead and um, clear out this area. Start right here. I'm gonna start with the trees. That's what I'm doing right now. Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Okay, thank you for the the, the full the government name, the full name. I don't know. I just call them King Spaniels, and usually the owners do not correct me. I feel like if it was like a show dog or something or like a very specific breed, somebody would be like, yeah, no, that's not correct, but. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna live stream most of the production of the show barn. I usually do a lot of like detailing off stream, but that's just like trees, you know, like that's not usually the, the bulk of it. Yeah. Yeah, I probably won't be doing another live stream for the show barn until like, gosh, Sunday maybe. Um, I usually do Sundays now for like a, either a Minecraft stream or like a fun stream, but I'll be doing a lot next week. Um, tomorrow's my birthday and then Friday my brother's going to be here, so I'm going to take the day off. Saturday, I'll probably upload something for the members because that's usually their day for either a live stream or upload, but my brother's going to be here, so I can't like, I can, but I don't want to have to like, you know, go away from family for a little bit because he only comes up here every so often, so... You turned 14 last week. Happy belated. I hope your birthday was good. Oh my god, no! Uh, you didn't see that. Listen. You saw nothing. Okay, listen. I'll put you in the pasture with the cow. You, you guys can be friends. <laughs> the way the earth just spit out the loot. It was so sad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> didn't mean to. <laughs> It's not, it's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. That's sad that she died, you know? All right. 
Oh my gosh, you do sell candles. Wait, can I share this in stream, Riley? I want to buy some of your candles. Hold on. Sorry, I'm looking at our candles. Cranberry Woods. Oh my god, I'm going to buy that one for sure. Oh, you have melts too. Perfect. I have a little scenty too. I'm going to share this in stream for you guys. That's Riley's candle store. Well, I think it's... She, she sells other things. It's not just candles. You guys should go check it out. Be careful, Wolfie. Oh my god. I go crazy for candles sometimes. Like, especially bath and body wear candles. But I, I love the, like, freshly made candles. We used to go to, um, this, I, I know that around here we have the Mennonites, but I believe like the one we used to go to was like the Amish country one. Um, obviously there's a, there's a difference. I know that they do like sometimes both, both of them dress, um, very, uh, what would you say? Old fashioned, I guess, you know, not really like modern dressing, which is like, okay, I'm just saying like, you know, that's the only reason I confuse them sometimes. Um, we used to go to this Amish country sales thing it was like a little farmer's market and they made fresh candles and they would like make them there like you would see them like start making the candles and they would sell like their other candles that they made like the other day it is like i go crazy for like the freshly made candles because it smells so good you don't even have to burn the candle when you first get it just open up the lid and let it like just air out in your room and it smells like the candle for like three days and then you can burn it like that's how freshly made they were they were kind of expensive i think they were like 20 dollars each which like i know bath and body works is way more expensive but oh my god i loved their candles so much i'm actually just gonna bring this straight across You an Amish market? Yes. And they're so sweet. Like, I remember we bought bread, like fresh bread from a lady. And she gave us like two free loaves. She's like, thank you so much. You know, have like some free loaves. And Because she had too much. She like knew she wasn't going to be able to sell them all. Like, it's so sweet. I think my mom like paid her for them though. Because, you know, she was giving it to us for free. And they work for that, you know. That's right. You guys are trapped. Haha. -ha. Yeah. Oh, their desserts are so good, too. Don't get me started. We bought these Danish, uh, these, like, Danish pastries with, like, the cream cheese in the middle. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm just really thinking about them right now. Can you like, can you work? Can you function? Oh my God. Did that work? You know what? Good enough. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I'll fix it later. All right, let's go over here and do the fill thing. Just do fill. Grass, air, well, let me do it like this. Let's do 50, radius 50, that should, oh, it almost covered it. Oh my god, that sounds so good, Lipton. I don't think I've ever had that, but that sounds so good. Um, I don't have either where I live, but I get them both. I think I like Starbucks more, though. I used to love Dunkin' more. I used to be like a Dunkin' girly. I'd be like, Starbucks, kind of gross. But the drink I get from Starbucks, it tastes the same every single time and it tastes good. And the one I get from Dunkin', it only tastes good like 
one out of three times I go. So I just started going to Starbucks more. But if I'm near like a Dunkin' and there's no Starbucks near me, I'll get Dunkin'. Yeah, I like Starbucks more though. I get the ice caramel macchiato with cold sweet foam on top. And it's like the perfect amount of sweet and like not sweet. Cause I don't really like like super sweet stuff. Ever since I had COVID, I can't like have stuff that's super sweet or I'll, it'll like taste weird. I don't like it. All right, so we got the pastures done. I don't know if I'm gonna do individual pastures just yet just yet um i think i'm gonna do i may have to do some for dove i'm not sure we'll see because dove dove throws hooves what flower should we do i think we should do some of the serene shrubbery oh sorry i had to yawn oh i'm still yawning i guess oh well, all right let's do some of these we can do white pansies. Um, I feel like, I feel like these would look cute too. They have like a pink tinge to them. Um, we can do some yellow as well. Yellow, pink, and white sounds really good. Uh, from what I've heard, I'm not sure if this is medically correct, I'm not a medical professional, but from what I've heard, COVID and even the flu and a lot of other, you know, very serious illnesses, they can chemically change a lot of your body. That's why a lot of people after COVID, you know, they may have problems even years after. I mean, my dad has short-term short -term memory loss from COVID. He still doesn't remember half of the time he had COVID. Um, and he forgot a lot after that Um that you know s slowly came back yeah he had um he went to the doctor about it and they were like we don't know what to tell you bud you know so but it slowly came back um i had a friend who had she had medical issues beforehand but she had lung issues after she had covid only thing i've had is just the sweet thing that's basically it i don't oh and that and shrimp every time i like smell shrimp i get nauseous i don't know what or how i don't know why why did COVID do that to me but like it's so bad i can eat shrimp but the smell of it it just makes me nauseous <laughs> yeah but like sweet stuff like super sweet desserts and stuff i can't do you know those like cooking videos where someone puts like chocolate within a brownie and then like ice cream on top and then like sprinkles and all that stuff like that kind of stuff looking at it makes me sick i'm not like oh that looks good it makes me sick because i just can't imagine how sweet that would be i'm like oh i don't know about that one that's why i went from like sweet drinks to like tart drinks i like tart drinks more now which is weird because five years ago even like three years ago because i don't know if that was specifically covid with the tart the liking tart drinks i don't i think i've just started liking tart drinks over time but if you asked me like i don't know four or five years ago hey want like a pomegranate drink or like tart drinks i'd be like ew get away from me hi brookie i hope you enjoyed school i forgot um today's like the f the first day of school for a lot of people the 14th and the 16th were like Like Monday, Monday the 14th. I know a lot of my friends just started college today. And then next week, next week is gonna be the first day of school for a lot of people. Hi, Crazy Pony. Yeah, tea. That's my sister with, I don't know if you guys have ever heard the restaurant named Buca di Beppo. It's so funny to say Buca di Beppo, but it's like an Italian restaurant. And my sister, um, we were there in Seattle. We were visiting to look at houses. And my sister, she uh, she got the stomach bug after eating at Buca di Beppo, like really bad. Like she was throwing up to the point where my parents were like, should we bring you on the plane or like because my dad was living there at the time and we're like should we should we bring her on the plane or should we just like not bring her um and every time we mentioned buca de bebo now she's like mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
<laughs> so, your brain remembers certain smells, especially when you were sick. Any tips for middle schoolers? Um, stay in school? I don't know. I... I don't know. Don't... Don't start food fights. Um, don't use your straws to, like... Oh my god, what do the boys in my school do? They used to make use straws and, like, put the straw wrappers and, and crinkle them up and make, like, spitballs. And it was disgusting. Don't do that. <laughs> um, this isn't gonna be available for anybody. Um, this has been my show barn for a long time. I'll probably, like, make a mold off of it or, like, another barn inspired off of it and offer it, but, um, yeah. My Oasis barn, though, my newest ranch, that one's gonna be offered to members. It's gonna have a different palette, but it's gonna be offered to members. All right, it's looking snazzy. All right, let's go to Hidden Schematics. I'll probably end up ending the live in about 20 minutes. Should we just go for another 30 minutes? What time is it? Yeah, let's just go for another 30 minutes. We'll be good. Did you guys think I was ma wait, what? <laughs> Did you guys think I was making this for Ko or Ko-Fi? Yeah, I'm sorry. I really would love to offer it on Ko-Fi, but it's, it's mostly just like, it's my own personal barn and I've had it for a while. And after what I faced, you know, not from that, but just in general, after what I faced of people like trying to um, take my, my, videos and everything I'm like oh I don't even know if I want to offer like my personal barns but um I'll definitely think about it okay rotate 180 that's not 180 that's 180 thank you get out of here okay we're gonna put it over in this corner And I'll redesign it. I'll I'll edit the palette or whatever. I'm gonna leave just this one right now over here. And then I'll go over and redesign it later. I do have a bunch of barns on Ko-Fi though for, for both for free and for paid. I think there's two free ones. There's also one membership barn on there too. I need to put the rest of the membership barn. There's still a pull up. Get out of here, pull. Sorry. I just realized the poll was still up from like 30 minutes ago. And then my, um, the CC barn I'll be making, where is it? Um, okay. This barn, unless Riley removed it, yeah, no, I was about to say, I don't think Riley removed it. This barn, um, I'll be changing all of the leaves to another leaf type. And then I'll be redesigning it a little bit to fit like another vibe and then I'll be relisting it for like the same price but another option because a lot of people said they didn't like the red and they don't want to change the leaves so I was like okay I'll do it. <laughs> so I'm gonna be doing that. Um, I like the red but I feel like for any other like part of summer or the you know seasons in general like spring, summer, and even like beginning of winter I don't, I don't think it would look like this red. So, um, you just look up world edit on CurseForge and then put it into your mods folder. Make sure it's for the right version though. I do not have a horse, no. <laughs> That's why I play these games is because um, I don't have a horse. <laughs> I, I love the red. It's just like for this time of year, it's like for some people, I like the red, but for some people, they just said that they didn't like the red because of how like autumn it is. And it's like in the middle of, or the end of summer. So that's like the only thing that I heard from the feedback. So I'm going to be offering it for like a different vibe for anybody who wants it. Um, I think out here we can maybe have like a little warm-up arena 
I don't ride horses currently, no. Around me, there's no barns for me to use. Um, I've called around plenty of times, but sadly, you know, a lot of people, like I've said before, they don't really usually allow people to ride their horses. Um, if they're just like random people that showed up from the internet. <laughs> so. Really, Dasha? That's so cool. Is that like a good thing or a bad thing? We Do we, do we like the brother's girlfriend or... Is that like a, like a yay or like boo, you know? <laughs> what are, how, how are we feeling about that? I remember somebody got on stream and told me that, oh my God, I cried after stream. This was like a year ago, maybe longer. Someone got on stream and told me, um, she said, I, she was like older and she said, you remind me so much of my daughter. And I was like, oh, you know, like, that's great. And she's like, yeah, your voice sounds just like her. She passed away last year. And I was like, <laughs> don't say that. That's going to make me cry. Like, it made me happy to know that she like, you know, can hop on stream and, and be reminded of, like, in a way that she wanted it to be reminded. But, you know, it's just... It makes me a little bit emotional to know that like people come on here and are like, you remind me of this person. And I'm like, that's sweet, but also like really sad. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like the thistle. Actually, those with thistle, no. If you were my best girlfriend, I'd be so happy. <laughs> hey, yo. What does the royal gray look like? Ooh, I don't like that. That is purple. <laughs> um, I don't think I like the yellow either. Well, the yellow looks good. It's just very bright. We can go back to like pale or golden. I didn't like the golden in the new SCBDM because it just looks, it looks like yellowish. I don't know. Kind of remind me of the ASMR people. Ooh, I should start doing ASMR. Like, hey guys. Oh my god. <laughs> I was trying to pop my mic. Welcome back to a stream. But the music kind of ruins it, but like, you know. As long as I don't start eating into my mic, we're fine. I cannot, I can't do eating ASMR. I, ooh. You listen to it on loop. Oh my god. If I get a better mic, I would. My mic picks up, like, everything. Like, a lot. I also don't like how much it picks up, like, my mouth noises. Like, I don't know. Whenever I, like, clear my throat, it picks up, like, every detail. And I'm like, oh. Why, why does it sound like that? Okay, are we thinking golden? Or here, let me do a strip of another one. That way you guys can help me choose. Okay, this is yellow, this is golden. Let's do pale. I think pale was the one that looked like it was straight up glowing. I like pale. I don't know. So this one's this one's gold or yellow, sorry. This is yellow, this is golden, and then this is pale. I think I like pale because it's like a mixture between yellow and golden. And it's very soft. Like this one's really saturated. This looks like wet sand or like sand after the rain. And then this looks like, I don't know. This looks like, like really bright arena sand. Like I, a lot of people say that they like eating ASMR. So I don't want to shame anybody who listens to it, but I just, I can't do like the eating noises. I usually don't get annoyed when people like have, you know, like eat loud around me. I really don't care. I grew up with brothers. I mean, the the chewing and everything i'm used to but like when somebody it's like silence and just eating i just i can't do it it reminds me of the scene from lord of the rings where that guy is like chewing on like tomatoes and it's like oh i mm -mm. okay there we go yeah i think pale fits it Now we need to make the fence designs for the arena. Ooh, these are gonna be fun. I love the song. Oh, 
when my BF throws, he makes me. <laughs> when in my BF choose, he wants. <laughs> I can't even read it right because I'm laughing. <laughs> When my my BF when he chews makes me want to throw hands. I was laughing so hard that my brain was not cooperating. Oh my god. Yeah. I remember I was I was waitressing and um I was waitressing this man and this woman. They were like around my age, maybe a little bit older, maybe like mid twenties. And I was setting down a plate for them and the the guy was chewing on his wings, like the appetizer and I was setting down the main meal. I don't care like if people like, you know, when I'm waitressing, I don't care if people like chew in front of me, they're eating their food, like eat your food, don't worry about me, not judging you at all. I mean, like you're here to eat. And this woman, she was like, um, can we get a refill of like the sweet tea and everything? And I'm like, yeah, sure. And she was like, she, I remember she said the, <laughs> I, remember she just, I think it was John. She's like, John, stop chewing so freaking loud. And I was like, oh my God, <laughs> she said it so loud too. And this guy looked up like, what? I was trying so hard not to laugh. Like it's sometimes people say something, especially when people's kids come in and say the most out of pocket things. And I'm like, mm-hmm. It's just, it's insane to me. I would say in like a, a social way, you're unlucky because, you know, not that it's your choice, it's your parents' choice, but I would say that you're unlucky in a way of you don't get to grow up with siblings, but you're lucky in a way of like, you don't have to be bothered by siblings. But if I had the choice to go back and, you know, if somebody showed up before I was born, like, hey, you want to you want to like have siblings or not i would say yes even though like all the, with all the struggles i went through with my siblings i love them to death and like i know that throughout life if we're granted the time i mean we'll be all close and everything and probably not like super close but you know we'll you know be able to meet up with each other at like family reunions we won't have beef <laughs> And now I'm the youngest, so I can't really tell you what having a little sibling is like. From what I can, from what I can uh, tell with my friends who have younger siblings, they don't like it. But I don't know. I think us younger siblings are pretty cool, even though we steal all your stuff. Yeah, that's another thing. I forced my sister to come with me places because I have social anxiety. <laughs> I was about to say. Yeah, I forced my sister to go like random places with me. I'm like, hey, want to go out to eat with me? And she's like, will you pay? And I'm like, yeah, just come with me so I don't get scared, please. No, I'm sorry. During their gremlin phase, little siblings, I'll admit I was a little sibling. I remember my gremlin phase pretty, pretty well. I don't support, I don't support the gremlin phase. Let's just do those. Oh wow, 10 plus years older. See, that's like a, I've always wondered about that. Like that must be an interesting way to, not in like a bad way, but that may be like, that's, that's an interesting concept is like being a lot older than your siblings. And they're like strangers to you. Cause they're, they're like, by the time you're 10, they're like almost already out of the house, you know? I had a friend who's, she was, um, she was 18 in college when we met or 19 and her daughter or her daughter um well she no she was pregnant at the time but her little sister had just been born so her and her mom had kids like two or three months apart i was crazy to me i was like oh my god your little sister and your daughter are going to grow up together like that's actually insane like in a good way but also like an interesting way you know like i've never heard of that happening before so yeah, it's my birthday tomorrow. Whoop, whoop. So crazy to me. Thank you. Thank you, Brookie. Thank you so much. I'm doing giveaways for you guys so that it can be your birthday too. 
I don't I don't have I don't have good histories with birthdays. I usually don't like my birthday. So I just stream and give away stuff so it's not sad. <laughs> Nothing that anybody else has done or anything like that. It's like more of just my mental health on my birthday. Bye, Brookie. Have a good one. Oh, happy belated. August babies, let's go. August babies unite. Should we do one like this? Okay, we need to make a fence design. I don't know what I want to do for a fence. I usually like using the, the measurement tool for these, but I don't know if I will. Um, I already said what I'm doing for the giveaways, but uh, just a lot. <laughs> I would just be there tomorrow for the giveaways. Honestly, it's way easier. I'm not saying that because, like, you know, I don't want to say it. I'm just saying it because I've, I've said it plenty of times before. And I don't have to go through them again. <laughs> I don't have to remember. Don't make me remember, please. Oh, the brush box is always really cool. And then you delete that, and so that way it lines up with the blocks. Then another block, what? I don't know what that means. February child, yeah, my mom and brother are. The giveaway, the giveaway winners will be announced tomorrow on stream. So you'll... If you're there, you'll be able to get a chance at winning the giveaway. If you're not, I, I'll i be trying to do giveaways afterwards, but I rarely ever do giveaways like, like a lot of them at once. So the only reason I'm doing so many at once is because there's a lot of, there's going to be a lot of people there. Um, you're not required to do anything. You're not required to be subscribed and you're not required to, you know, like say something i mean you'll probably say something to be entered into the giveaway but you know you know what i mean you guys won't be required to do anything like that oh my god i love the song reminds me of pirates my ears feel like i'm in like the mountains feels like i'm under high pressure oh my god ears stop it um I'm trying to get stuff from the palette. Let me try. We have bricks. Let me try and see if I can use like the bricks. Because I really like the new bricks. The cottage bricks and the paver bricks. Where's the golden? Or sorry, the pale. I guess there's no pale. Oh wait, there's pale. Oopsies. Haha. -ha. Do we like the pale or the yellow? I think I like the yellow. It's like not so saturated, which is ironic because the yellow is saturated and the, I guess, no, the yellow wasn't saturated. That is odd. Yeah, <laughs> crazy funny, yeah. I'm just saying that in a way if anybody subscribes and then doesn't win and they're like, I'm unsubscribing. It's like, you don't have to even be subscribed. All good. <laughs> yeah honestly i'm just gonna summon the wither inside of my world that would be terrifying i don't know what this means i want to just here i'll do it like this oh there's only four blocks oopsies also still four blocks we're not going to talk about it Um, should we do the pull on box small and then just boop, boop, 
derp. And then, oh my god. Copy. Paste. Isn't that cute? Do we like that design? I kind of like it. I don't know. I think it's very simple. And then we can do the, maybe like the, the slab for like a little bit of a, oh wait, that's pale. I meant to do yellow, sorry. Maybe we could do this. Or we could do, where is it? We can do the sand cotta, make it like a smooth top. I don't think I like that though. I don't know. I'll just do the yellow trap door. <laughs> yeah, you guys can use the measurement, the jump measurement tool to like make actual fences too. I've never fought the wither in survival mode. You are bold. Same with the ender dragon. Actually, I have fought the ender dragon in survival mode, but I haven't fought it for years. One of these days, I'm someone, so another creator is gonna force me to do a speed run and I'm gonna cry because I survival Minecraft scares me so bad. Birthday stream activity? Oh my god. I mean... I wouldn't be opposed. Hi, Foxy. It's gonna be behind me, isn't it? <laughs> it's behind me, isn't it? Oh, the one time I thought it was going to be behind me, it's in front of me. Whatever. Whatever. Aggressively spams keys. <laughs> yeah, the keyboard ASMR, you know. Is this built off of the sand or on the sand? Okay, it's kind of off the sand. How did I build this? What did I do right here? Uh, I guess I'll fix that in a little bit. Here, I'm gonna just rotate it. I think rotating it will ruin the flower boxes though, but like, <laughs> I don't really know what to do about that. Oh my gosh, this song is so positive. What is, this went from like orchestra to joyful music. Yeah, you can, you guys can use my fence ideas as long as you give credit. I mean, I'm fine with you guys using my ideas. It'll probably be changed up a lot. What is this? Get out of here. Get out of here. Just be careful, just, uh, words. Just be careful world editing because if you world edit certain blocks with swim, like the stall doors, the jumps, stuff like that, especially when like with schematics, you may end up corrupting your world file. So just be careful, or your world edit files. Just be careful with that. Um, not sure why, but yeah, that's, that's all I've been told. I'm just gonna copy and paste it this way. Let's go, let me do it like right here. There we go. What the heck?
we go. Sorry if you can hear the rooster outside. He's... He's mad at something, I don't know. We have three roosters now. I don't know why we have more roosters, but we have three roosters now. <laughs> My mom just keeps on like keeping them and we can't really do anything to stop her, so. We just have to deal with the fact that we have a bunch of roosters. Oh, that was a little messed up. Is this not even? Anyways. Actually, we should do it like this. No, wait, it's pale. No, go back. It was pale. I had it right. See, it just doesn't match. Why isn't it match? Here, let me try this. It's not even. It doesn't, like match the other side oh is it pushed back one are you guys even on no you're not oh my god you need to be pushed back one that makes so much more sense but it's still like one block away oh is this uneven No? I'll fix it later. I'll figure out the problem later. Or I won't. Who knows? Not too worried about it right now. Uh, this is gonna be the the show barn. I forgot what I named the show barn. Oakleaf. I'll probably change the name though. Oakleaf? Like, I don't know. Seems like a retirement home name, not gonna lie. For my own personal barn. Um, you can use hedge. You can use hedges and fences. Um, only thing with- well, hedges, animals can't- well, you can't- nobody can jump up on it. Mobs can't jump up on the hedges with cork. So if you use hedges and fences, it's like a double barrier. Animals can't just, like, climb over the hedges. But if you use hedges and leaves, then they can kind of climb over. Yeah. I mean, I did make a- I did like bring in a village, hold on. I'll show this again, cause I showed it in the beginning. I'll show it again before I end the stream. I'll show you the, the village. There's another village up here. That's not one I brought in though. That's like a, just a vanilla generated village. Roosters aren't allowed in your state. What state? Oh my God. Magic getting banned from a state. Hi, Dasha. Thank you so much for joining. This is the the village. I designed a little bit around it, like the leaves and everything. I've designed some of the interiors, but not all of them. I still have a lot to do, but I'll design them eventually. It's meant for my storyline, so, you know. It's not meant to be super, like, fancy. It's just meant to be, like, appealing to the eye for a split second before... <laughs> The video cuts off, you know. Oh, and here's my dog. It's a little messed up. With the textures. Oh, sorry, big yawn. 
anyways um oh oopsies i am gonna go ahead and head out i've been oh, i've been streaming for exactly three hours wait this is kind of cool um i have been streaming for a while and i want to take a break personally just because i don't want to get burnt out from building and that happens pretty quick if i spend way too long building but like i promised i will be working on the show barn on stream so i'll be letting you guys know on my discord when i'll be streaming again for the show barn if you guys aren't in my discord um it's 24 7 modded it's family friendly and you'll be able to see when i post a new video post a new stream vote on any polls and just hang out with the community completely up to you but i definitely recommend it if you want like notifications um but yeah anyways i hope you guys have a good rest of your day and i hope you can make it to my birthday stream tomorrow it starts same time as today started 2 p.m central um but yeah i will either see you there or i will catch you guys another stream or another video yeah <laughs> all right goodbye everyone goodbye Thank you.